Today I get to introduce you all to the brand new SwitchBot Blind Tilt Controller. Now these are going to be able to open and close your blinds as well as control them even in a percentage basis. Let me show you what we've got. SwitchBot's new blind tilt controller spins the control rod on horizontal blinds to open and close your blinds automatically. The device is controllable by SwitchBot's app, Google Home, Amazon's voice assistant, Samsung SmartThings, If This Then That, and Siri shortcuts. The controls are sometimes different between all those platforms, but the SwitchBot app control is very sophisticated with customized controls on the front page, as well as customized actions once you tap into the device. It features a no tool setup, takes seconds to get working, and is highly accurate with its control of your blinds. It does make some noise, but with an included solar panel that has an onboard light level sensor, you can build full smart home lighting control in just minutes. You can experience some slip in the control points if blind tilt is installed incorrectly, and you will likely see the wand on your blinds move, but there is much more to tell you about the SwitchBot blind tilt controller, but first, let's see what you get when you purchase one. I have everything open, Here's what you get in the box. Here's the main controller. You get a solar panel with a connector. You get three sizes of these. Now they go around your blinds rod. Here's the small, here's the medium, and actually there's a large that I dropped, and an XL sticker. Now, depending on the size of your rod, because there are restrictions on the diameter of that, then that's which one you'll use here. Around that will go this gear mechanism that you get in the box, and this helps you to cable wrap the wires around and affix it to your blinds in some way. Now, here's a separate charging cable that you get in the box and some additional mounting hardware if you need to use that. Plus, if you need to ever reset the device, you get your little pin. To determine which size of these that you use, you have this little measuring device that you basically wrap around your blind rod and then that will tell you which one of those to use. Of course, if you can't get any of this figured out, you got a nice big manual and the SwitchBot app to work with with all of this. Within the main device, you actually have a 2000 milliamp hour battery and you can charge that either by using the basic cable every so often, or you can connect the solar panel. Now, once you have put that on the device, you actually twist and you twist quite far to lock that on. You get a little 3M sticker on the solar panel. So when you stick that on your window, it'll stay there. It's a fairly small device. There's not a lot to this. And what I'll say is it's not gonna be too heavy for any blinds. I don't think it's gonna break any of the rods. It's not applying any pressure uh, in an angular direction. So uh, it's really just rotating the rod as you normally would. It's of course only going to work inside of your home this is a indoor device it's using bluetooth to communicate to the switchbot hub mini so you will need one of these to get a lot of the features and to be able to connect it to uh, google home amazon's voice assistant samsung smart things if this then that those are the platforms you can connect this to now let me show you the details of setup very quickly and how you can use this in your home. The blind tilt controller is not gonna work with horizontal blinds with a ball chain nor with vertical blinds. You've already seen the restriction on the diameter of the blind wand, but those are easy to replace and there's actually a maximum width of three meters for your blinds. This is related to torque maximums of the device. As I said earlier, I have the SwitchBot Mini Hub in my home and that allows me to do a lot of automation. Now I've had my SwitchBot blind tilt 
plugged in directly to power during the setup process just to make sure that there's a good charge on it during setup, which allows me to start that setup process in the application by just hitting the plus button up at the top right. And they ask you to hold the reset button, then you will see it blink quickly. Now you do get an option for a video guide or a picture guide, which is really helpful during the setup process to make sure you're doing every step right. Now the first step is to make sure it fits. You measure your curtain's rod, and I actually had to replace one of mine uh, in order to fit this properly in my home. But then I measured and I had to use the large one of these. This goes around and you, you just peel off the sticker and it affixes to the curtain rod. Once you're sure that it's gonna fit like this, then you can take off that sticker and place it on your rod. Once you have that on, you actually open this gear component up and you place it around in order to uh, get this locked down on it. So then you close this little uh, pin mechanism and that gives you a good seal around the other component that you've already stuck. And you should be able to twist the rod now with your hands and actually move your blinds. If you don't have a good seal, then make sure you're getting a good seal before moving on and grabbing your full blind tilt controller and connecting it to the solar panel, if you'll be using that. How the overall mechanism works is, so you can push up and then it will open up this component. Now, inside of here, you can see there's a little gear in here. And then what happens is you end up with that going on. So now the gear is inside. So you're just going to close off the unit and this is where you'll start to finalize the installation, but you're going to want to pay attention to some of the dimensions. And this caused me to actually move up my device a little bit. So the thicker part of the solar panel wiring allows you to route the wire through the cable connector that SwitchBot gives you. But you can see that it didn't fit or didn't make it all the way up behind my blinds cover. So I actually had to move the entire installation. Now I'm showing the longest you can make that wire wrap on screen now. So that's the distance that you wanna place the top of your blind controller down from where you want to mount that cable connector. To make it easy for you, SwitchBot has dual purpose, the tape measure, because you're actually supposed to use it at the top of wherever you'd like the cable connector to end. And at the bottom of the tape measure is exactly where you'll place that sticky adapter. Once you do have it mounted correctly, you're going to fish the wire for your solar panel over the top of your top blind and then you'll affix the solar panel to the window. From this point you should be able to manually move your blinds and that is important for the calibration process that you will now go through and SwitchBot is really clear that you cannot reverse in the middle of calibration. So they want you to fully open and fully close and go to the middle or fully open. And when you do that and then reverse, you'll get an error message and have to restart. It's at this point that you get full control of your SwitchBot blind tilt controller. So let me show you what you can do in the app and how you can control these. The SwitchBot app has been significantly updated for SwitchBot Blind Tilt. Now at the very bottom of my app you can see the living room blinds and the two custom controls on it. Once you tap into the device, if you're not going to use those two controls, you can adjust manually by swiping up or down and you can actually hold when you swipe so that you gain that really fine control. Now when you swipe up from the bottom, you get three buttons, close fully down, close fully up, and fully open your blinds, plus the three customized actions that you can edit. There's also the light sensing if you've attached that solar panel and you get a 24 hour, a three day, and a seven day 
chart here for you. Plus, you can create automations based off of that. This is one of the most powerful features of SwitchBot Blind Tilt because you can look at the light levels you're getting at this time, make an adjustment. And so I'm saying if it's higher than level one, I want you to fully open the blinds and I can set a period that that's valid for. Then I can create another automation and say, okay, but if it's higher than level three or level four or whatever you want to set then i could say okay then the room will be a little bit too bright and i want to adjust it a little more closed and again i'm going to uh, let that go all day but i could make that choice there's also a delay function and a schedule function so you can create just totally scheduled blind control if you'd like in the SwitchBot application. At the top of the interface, you can see the percentage of the battery and whether it's being charged, plus whether it's connected to your Hub Mini and Bluetooth at that moment. Going into the settings gear, you have much more to do here. So the living room blinds, I can change the name, the home, the room, but the customized actions section is where you can change what those two buttons on the front tile or the front page do. So you only get to choose the left and the right button, but you can make adjustments for what each of those do. Once you've chosen what you'd like to have happen, you just have to leave the page and it saves it. And that's the quick buttons that you get on the main page. To change those three customized actions, again, you get three buttons, you can't add any more, but you can make adjustments to all three of those and have those exact settings that you'd like be quick pressable buttons. The motion mode, silent mode and performance mode have different decibels of noise that you will get out of the blinds and you can make that adjustment here. If you ever need to recalibrate because things have slipped a little or you're just having a problem, you can do that. In order to connect SwitchBot Blind Tilt to the other services, you need to make sure that it's connected to a hub. You can go into each of the cloud services to see how to connect them. And for Samsung SmartThings, you'll connect that in their app. But if you wanna change, if you have multiple hubs like I do in my home, you can change between those different hubs just by tapping on the hub name. In the main page, you also have logs to see what your blinds have been doing. You can go and see the battery level and the firmware, and that's where you'll upgrade the firmware. Plus, if you ever need the Bluetooth Mac address, it's there. If you have any of SwitchBot's remotes, then you can control the blinds with these very easily and place that remote just about anywhere around your home. There's a pair a remote option and once you have that device in the app, you can simply change the settings to whatever you'd like to do within the blind. So again, you're gonna get these same controls where you're choosing the adjustment, whether it's fully open, fully closed, or somewhere in the middle, and you'll be able to use those remotes very simply to control. The other really nice type of control is with SwitchBot's NFC tag. So if you have a phone or a tablet capable of NFC scanning, then you can go into the NFC part in the settings, make the adjustment, what you'd like the blinds to do when you scan that tag and just follow the instructions to scan the tag after hitting the OK button. And then anytime you scan that tag, that's what happens to your blinds. Let's roll through the automation options you have with SwitchBot. Now in the scene section of the app is where you'll do most of the automations. As we go in and pick the conditions, we can choose manual execution, the schedule, a number of different SwitchBot devices, but the blind tilt controller doesn't show up here. 
Some great options for use with the blind tilt controller is the contact sensor, which could signify you coming in or leaving the home, the meter or meter plus, which would give you temperature and humidity control in your space, a motion detector just to make sure that the blinds are open to the right level at certain times during the day. And of course the camera can do the same. The lock on your front door could do this as well. From the action side, you're going to be able to adjust the blind tilt controller to any place that you would like. But in my conversations with SwitchBot, one of the things I asked them to add was the ability to change between silent and performance mode on this device. So by the time you have these, that will be a feature in the app. Amazon's routines right now just have the ability to open and close, but SwitchBot has informed me that by the time these come out, you'll be able to control based on a percentage. The same is true with Google Home, which now has percentage based control with the blind tilt controller. Samsung SmartThings also has full open, close, pause, and percentage based control of SwitchBot blind tilt. To create a shortcut using Apple's Siri, inside of the SwitchBot application, you'll actually head into the cloud section of the SwitchBot blind tilt. And when you tap into there and you tap into Siri shortcuts, you'll get an opportunity to create one of these shortcuts. This allows you to pick any position for your blinds. And once you've done that, it will show up in the shortcuts application to be used in any other shortcut that you create. And yes, you can create multiple of those. Now you can pick up the SwitchBot blind tilt controller today through a Kickstarter campaign. So you wanna check out the links below. Otherwise, you're gonna be able to pick up all of their products at switchbot.com and I have a link down below for you plus a coupon code to save you a little money. I have a number of other products from SwitchBot. They're really unique product makers and I want you to check out the playlist that's up on screen to see some of those like the curtain, the bots, and some of the things that I have done with all of their different products here on Automate Your Life. So check out that playlist, it's up on screen. Otherwise, thanks for watching today and of course don't hate Automate.